What is up, beautiful people? Your workout today, you guys have a running Tabata, one of those fun ones. So, uh, Tabata is eight, uh, eight rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spend four minutes doing split squats, all right? So that's eight rounds, 20 on, 10 off, and then you're gonna stay at that station for the entire eight rounds. What's gonna happen after that is after your eight rounds, you guys owe a 400 meter run between stations, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna have three minutes to get back into the door, then we're gonna start your next Tabata and we're gonna do four minutes at your next station, okay? So the faster that you run your 400, the more rest and recovery you're actually going to get. It should take you about two minutes to do a 400, which would leave you a minute of rest. Obviously, again, like I said, if you run faster, you earn yourself more rest, and we're just gonna do that between every single round. So four minutes here, 400. Four minutes of touchdowns, 400, so on and so forth, doing that 20 and 10 off the entire time. Okay, so split squats. You guys have a couple different options. So Bulgarian is what we're gonna work with today, meaning that you guys need to elevate your foot. Make sure that you're not elevating it too high. You guys want an object that's about 10 to 12 inches. So you guys can challenge yourself with a weight. Go ahead and lower yourself down. Try to get as low as you can. If you can touch your knee to the ground, awesome. If not, then just go as low as you feel comfortable. Do 20 seconds on one leg, and then when you guys are in your 10 seconds of rest and recovery, switch to the opposite leg. Okay, progression, you guys can obviously just do uh, no weight, and then last progression, you guys can do normal split squats to where you guys are set up in a lunge, your feet never leave the ground, and all you guys are doing is going up and down just like so. All right, so eight, uh, eight rounds of that, 400 meter run, now we're back. Now you guys have a forward reverse bear crawl. Big thing that we wanna focus on is keeping your butt low to the ground today, all right? So she's gonna stay nice and low. It's gonna engage her core and her flip, hip flexors more. She's gonna go four steps forward, four steps back. What we don't wanna see is your butt way up in the air. We want knees bent and your back should be relatively flat to the ground, all right? Now next station is touchdowns. So you guys are gonna split the feet. You guys wanna to touch the ground every single time. A lot of times we just see you guys jump up and down switching. Make sure that you guys actually putting the feet in, bring the feet back out again. Now you guys have wipers. So with this one, you guys can have a weight or not. It is completely up to you. But we want a good hollow body position from the, the hips down. Now she's gonna bring her feet to the right side of the uh, object and then to the left side. Trying not to touch your feet to the ground every single time. Trying to stay active the entire time. All right? Now, last station, you guys have handstand push-ups or strict press. So if you guys do not have handstand push-ups, you guys are gonna do a strict press. We're gonna show you both. So kick up to a solid piece of wall. Do not kick up into your drywall. Oh, drywall. Knees down, go ahead and drive up, and then kick every single time. You guys can stack objects. Easy thing is just to stack some uh, beach towels or something like that underneath you if you need it. And then if you do not have that, you're not comfortable going upside down, grab whatever weight or object that you guys have. It could be a case, it could be a cooler, it could be anything. And without using your legs, go ahead and just press that weight up overhead. All right? Run fast, take chances. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.